welcome dear students solutions of unit 4 2023 advanced mechanics semester 6 question paper 2023 advanced mechanics unit 4 question 5a when each a transformation is said to be canonical transformation. A canonical transformation QP to capital QP is made through the generating function FQP equal to Q square P on the Hamiltonian H equal to P square by twice alpha Q square plus beta by 4 Q to the power 4 where alpha, beta are constants. Find the equation of motion for capital QP. This question may be wrong. The first part when each transformation is said to be canonical transformation, first part 2022 unit 4 question 5a. Second part, actually this question if qp equal to q square p, actually uh, is small p uh, in place of small p we write capital P. So this if q capital P equal to q square capital P. This is the generating function here hence uh, small p equal to del del q capital a equal to twice q capital p and capital q equal to del del capital p f is equal to q square this implies q equal to root over of capital q from 2 using 3 we get small p equal to 2 capital p root over of capital q is equation 4 Hamiltonian h equal to p square by twice alpha q square plus beta by 4 q to the power 4. Using 4 and 3 and from 5 uh, we get new Hamiltonian capital K is this capital Q capital P function of this. So we get uh, put the value of p and small p and small q and we after simplification we write this 2 capital P square by alpha plus beta by 4 capital Q square equation 6. Hence the Hamiltonian equation of motion for new capital QP system are given by capital Q dot equal to del del capital PK and capital P dot equal to minus del del capital QK. And this Q dot capital Q dot equal to 4P by alpha because K equal to this from 6 and p dot equal to ddt p this equals to with respect to p so this uh, with respect to q uh, del del q k ddt of p p dot equal to with respect to q so twice q uh, by 4 into beta these are the required equations of motion for capital q p next question 5b so that the transformation q equal to root 2p sin q and p equal to root 2p cos q is canonical. Find a generating function for this transformation. The transformation will be canonical if p dq minus capital P d capital Q d capital Q equal to df and exact differential. Now we have q equal to root 2 capital P sine capital Q and P equal to root 2 capital P cos capital Q. We find dq equal to root 2 capital P cos Q dq plus uh, 2 P whole to the power minus half sine Q dp. This is the dq equal to this. Then P dq equal to this. Hence, P D Q minus capital P D capital Q, we write this after simplification, uh, we get D of half capital P sine twice Q. So, this half capital P sine twice capital Q is the function, generating function capital F. And this shows that this P, P D Q minus capital P D capital Q equal to D of some function. So, this is a canonical transformation. Transpose is canonical. 
from 1 equation 1 uh, we get the sine square q equal to q square by twice p and from 2 cos square q equal to p square by twice p adding these we get is capital p equal to half of p square plus q square and dividing uh, 1 by 2 dividing 1 by 2 uh, we get tan q equal to small q by small p so q equal to tan plus q by p the generating function capital f is given by f equal to half capital p sine twice q uh, put this capital p from this half of q square by sine square capital q sine twice q and uh, this is a function uh, q small q capital q is generating function this kind of generating function f1 function of small q capital q is half q square cot capital q note that this small q equal to this small p equal to this and capital p equal to this and capital q equal to this are the same canonical transformations and the same generating function next question 5c if the Poisson bracket of a time independent dynamical variable u with the Hamiltonian constant vanishes so that u is a constant of motion if capital F the functions of qj that means q1 q2 qn and pj that's p1 p2 pn and time t is a dynamical variable then total time t will be dd of f equal to summation of our j j equal to 1 to small n del del qj capital f qj dot plus del del uh, summation of our j 1 to n small n del del pj f p dot plus del del t f now q dot equal to del del pj h from the hamilton's equation of motion and p dot equal to minus del del q h so we can write the summation of our j 1 to small n and this plus del del t f and this is the portion bracket f and h with respect to small q p this so we get this this portion bracket f h of f and h with respect to this if capital f is a function of u this q j and p j q1 q2 qn p1 p2 pn and does not involve the time t explicitly then del del t f equal to zero and in this case so uh, put here f equal to u dt of u equal to u h now with respect to q p this and del del t u equal to zero so this we get this equation two now if the portion bracket u and h vanishes uh, by the condition of our problem then from the above equation we get dt u equal to zero hence u equal to zero u equal to constant and hence u becomes a constant of motion Note that all quantities having zero value as their Poisson bracket with h are constant of motion. Next question 5d. State and prove Lebel's theorem for Hamiltonian system. Uh, this question already we answered this. 2021 unit 4 question 5d thank you for watching this video and the pdf of this note is given in the description box